Hey you, do you like pipe smoking? Do you like tobacco? Do you like tobacco pipe smoking? Yeah? Great, you came to the right place. You obviously enjoy tobacco pipe videos, but let me ask you a question. Does this look fun? Okay, maybe not, but he's having fun. Do I know that for sure? Well, of course I do. He's me. Okay, not all intros are a hit. Sorry. Well met friends, my name is Adam and this is Get Pipes, where we love to pipe. First off, where the f am I? I'm in a hotel. I'm on a work trip down at the White Sands Missile Range doing some really cool training. Can't say much if you ask questions, I gotta report you, so don't. But the point is I'm here in the lovely state of New Mexico for the first time ever, and I'm really enjoying it. And I am big chilling in a hotel right now, which is absolutely unheard of given my military career so far. So I wanted to take advantage of that and make a video. So please excuse the probably shite angle, my wrinkled shirt from my bag. This microphone's probably gonna move 75 times throughout the video. Uh, the lighting's probably horrible, the audio's probably horrible, this is probably in the way of my face. I might not even be in focus. I don't even know. So, we're working with it. Okay, so today's piping is all about pipe smoking podcasts. Huh? That's a weird thing to talk about via video. Well, I thought podcasts are often shown through YouTube, so I said, why can't I use YouTube to show podcast? Yeah, this is rough already, but it's a good thing that it's a two minute Tuesday, so it can't be that bad for that long. So that was a f***ing lie. If you're new here, well, I'll give you a rundown of Tampa Tuesday. Not to be confused with Tampa Thursday, the Instagram community's uh, hashtag on Thursday. Mine's like that, I just, I just stole it and changed the name and made it for my YouTube channel. In this series, I take two minutes to explain something pipe smoky, something tip e. The ultimate goal is to teach, inform, and maybe entertain. We'll see if I get there. Now you've already looked at the bottom left corner and you can tell that I'm way over the two minutes. That's because it's not supposed to be two minutes for the whole video, but two minutes for the, the tip I'm talking about. So I haven't even started the tip, so the two minutes hasn't even started. That and I received a package that I wanna show you. Is this sponsored? No, it's not sponsored because they didn't pay me, but they sent it to me for free. But I don't have to say nice things. I don't know. I'm not sponsored, but take a look at this. This is a beginner's pipe kit, and I'll put the bottom line up front. It's a Chinese pipe, but bear with me. Let's take a closer look first. This package comes from a company called Whitlux, an all-female driven, badass company. Their vision is simple, to increase the scope of pipe smoking, welcoming in beginners with an all-encompassing, inexpensive package to get started. Just $35 for this one. Whitlux was founded by Joyce Whitluck. The company originally produced a small range of outdoor exploration tools, and they just got hooked on the hobby of pipe smoking. Who wouldn't? And right off the bat, their packaging is outstanding and welcoming. In the front, you have a card that has a bunch of words. Too much for me, yeet. Nah, I'm just kidding. This card is actually not just a filler about nice things, you know, the uh, thank you, thank you for buying my sh**. Instead, it has this little QR code at the bottom where you can instantly download not one, but two separate ebooks. One being a beginner's guide to pipe smoking and the wax canvas care guide. We'll talk about that in a moment, but the beginner's guide is an incredibly effective touch, especially for the new guy. I'll be honest, this guide being only 18 pages is really outstanding. It's effective to the point and contains paramount information for the new guy. It breaks down the components of a pipe, talks about pipe screens, filters, both why you should or shouldn't, the pipe tool, and more. It talks about the six major classifications of tobacco. It talks about selecting an aromatic versus a non-aromatic. Then, of course, how to pack the pipe. Okay, but back to the box. It comes with a wax canvas, the pipe, a pipe tool, pipe stand, filter screens, and pipe cleaners. The star hitter here is the wax canvas, hands down. This is a no drop shipped package found anywhere else. It took Joyce over a year to design this thing and it's magnificent. The hard waxy feel leaves me wanting to bring this guy out camping with my most expensive pipes inside. I won't, but I'd trust it. 
It's got a ton of storage and has just a super handsome design and feel. I love this thing. Now as for the pipe, it's an okay pipe. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'll never smoke it over my current collection. That said, the point here is it is a pipe. It's made of a hardwood and ebony, I believe, and has a handsome appearance. Joy says that she has visited the workshop, which is ethically employed according to the site, and she attests to the fact that they are crafted by a small team. Now, I was battling how I wanted to present this. I can't in my heart say that this is the pipe that every new guy should get first. I've always recommended corn cobs or even Morgan Bones. But I thought long and hard about this. This package as a whole is by far the best intro set I've seen. I can see how my taste in artisan pipes can be skewing my view on the pipe alone, but at the end of the day, a wooden pipe that functions, looks good, and is inexpensive is probably a good thing for a new guy. And it's for that reason that I think this is one of, if not the best gift sets for someone who is interested in pipe smoking, or for someone you want to get into pipe smoking. It's just a simple, really cheap package that presents so well. The accessories included are great, especially for that new guy to mess around with. All in all, I think this is a sweet piece to get new guys in. New guy doesn't care where his pipe comes from, what it's made of, or anything like that. He cares about the story in the pipe. Whitlux presents a beautiful story from their packaging, their ebooks, to their dedicated help email to answer any of your questions. This is a great product to win those hearts over to our hobby. As I mentioned, this set alone can be purchased for just $35. Now that is why I'm a proponent. I would probably pay $60 alone for just the wax canvas. Seriously, it's badass. So if you're a seasoned smoker, get this set, hand off the pipe and accessories to some cigar guy at your local cigar shop, and enjoy your badass canvas. And maybe you'll make a new pipe guy. If you're interested in picking one of these up for a friend, check the non-affiliated link in the description below. But please, leave a comment on your honest thoughts. Let's have a conversation. I think it's a great opportunity for the pipe smoking hopeful. Thank you, Joyce, so freaking much for sending me this package. I really do appreciate you allowing me the opportunity to share my honest thoughts. Okay, that's done. Now on to the TIT. The pipe smoking community is just a dynamic bunch of... Wait, I didn't do the thing. The pipe smoking community is a dynamic bunch of individuals. The idea of the pipe smoker has long been this old curmudgeon -y old timey, still use flip phone e, never go on instant gram, check the tweet books, or look at tubes. Well, as you can see, that is so far from the truth. That group does exist, and that's fine. We'll leave them to their own lonesomes that smoke their pipes all cranky, but for the most of us, we do enjoy yeah, the, the media format of uh, pipe smoking. Well, my friends, yes, you are literally all my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not familiar with the pipe smoking podcasting scene, well, you should be. You should be familiar. Start now. I say that because on the podcasting wavelengths, there is an unprecedented amount of knowledge, entertainment, and content regarding pipes and tobacco. I'm going to break them down for you now, rapid style-ish, hopefully, and uh, hopefully you can check some of those out. We're going to start in order from newer to the more seasoned podcasts. First up, brand new, well, at the time of recording, is the Houston Pipecast, a podcast that's dedicated to expanding the, the Houston Pipe Club. It's a small show that, as of right now, I believe only posts once a month prior to their, their meeting. Is a show that talks about, well, of course, pipes and tobacco. There's going to be a theme here. It, it's honestly super neat. It's two hosts. It's Eric and Joseph. And Joseph has the absolute deepest voice in the history of mankind. Kind of reminds me of my father-in-law. And I don't know, the dynamic between Eric and Joseph is, is just so welcoming. The two of them have an enormous amount of, of pipe smoking experience over decades between the two of them. Joseph clearly has a, a TAD, the TAD problem, a tobacco acquisition disorder. I'm sure he's got a PAD as well, pipe acquisition disorder. Uh, you should read my article on Briar Report, but I, I welcome it. It's cool to hear about some of the stuff that they get. Anyway, it's an enjoyable show and I highly recommend you check it out. It's a little bit quicker, so it's good for those quick drives. Next up is Pipes, Pours, and Pals, a podcast that's dedicated to the, the free form uh, approach of, of podcasting. It's not scripted, it's just two gents smoking pipes, pulling pints, and being pals. They talk about it all from pipes to not pipes at all. Now, I had the opportunity to actually meet Justin and Nate, but I missed it. They were at the Chicago Pipe Show, and I had no idea until I listened to their episode about the Chicago Pipe Show, and I was like, damn it, I missed an opportunity there to meet the two. After listening to their show, I literally feel like pal number three. 
and they told me through their episodes every single time they tell me I'm their third pal so it's it's great you should totally check it out the two of them have probably the best voices in, in pipe smoking podcasting I, I don't know it's just so clean and I hate my own voice so I like really take a liking to others yeah I don't know what, what it, it's good to have a good voice next the podcast with two giants in the industry we're talking beyond the pipe we're talking Chris Morgan and we're talking Sean Ream Chris Morgan of the Morgan Bones the one the Briar Cigar and he's with fellow artisan Sean Ream another crafty artisan with a large portfolio of, of varying shapes and sizes he expertly creates some clenchers and I expect to have many more in my my inventory in the, in the coming years Chris and Sean's podcast is also another free form meaning that they'll touch on pipes and smoke and then they'll touch on not that at all it's titled beyond the pipe for a reason so it's really cool to hear two pipe guys talk about not pipe things but they will talk about pipe smoking news they'll talk about the new blends and they'll just bs around if you need a refreshing break from the 100 pipe smoking podcast beyond the pipe's the way to go and they're a hundred percent honest they will blast a tobacco blend that just came out no shame or a manufacturer of pipes no shame it's great all right, moving to the fourth pod, we're talking about Pipe and Tamper podcast. Gosh, this one is just like home to me. Pipe and Tamper is the first podcast that I had ever listened to. Literally podcast, not just pipe smoking podcast. I remember listening way back in the day. The show once followed a strict interview format where the host, Mike Murphy, entertainingly met with dozens and dozens and dozens of guests in the pipe smoking sphere. Carvers, tobacconists, enthusiasts, YouTubers, other podcasters, he, he did it all. Mike has a ton of podcasting experience, which brought Pipe and Tamper to life, and in turn brought me deeper into the hobby. Today, Mike has shifted gears from fifth to sixth uh, by bringing on Jay Furman, the Instagram pipe community's entertaining, kind, Adonis pipe smoking enthusiast. <laughs> He's a master of artisan pipes and can probably tell you just by looking at the pipe you're holding which artisan made it. The guy knows them inside and out, and he's probably talked to every artisan on Instagram already. Together, the two put on a wonderfully hilarious broadcast. They maintain the pipe and tamper's roots by having a myriad of guests on the show. This one will forever have a place in my heart. It's influenced me as a pipe smoker. It's influenced my pipe smoking YouTube channel. It's influenced me in, in, in very many capacities. It's, it's just home to me. Oh, and meeting Jay in Chicago was by far one of my best and, and, and will always be one of my favorite pipe smoking memories uh, ever for the rest of my days. So it, was, it was absolutely incredible. Okay, moving to our fifth pipe smoking podcast. If you know anything about pipe smoking podcasts, you know this one. We're talking The Country Squire Radio with John David Cole and Bo York. The Country Squire is just an incredibly warming experience. I feel so welcome. The two long-term friends have put on a weekly broadcast for over 400 episodes now. And honestly, each and every episode to come out is, is equally as unique and gratifying. They focus on both information and entertainment. John David Cole, owner of the Country Squire and master tobacconist, has such a wealth of knowledge that everyone has the opportunity to listen to. From their Pipe Smoking 101 series to their Top 3 series, you can learn so many nuances about this hobby. I'd say 70% of my knowledge base has come from this show. It, it really is a must listen. With 400 episodes, I'm learning every day. Okay, just a couple more. I know we're absolutely over two minutes, but we gotta talk about the gold standard of pipe smoking podcasts. Pipes Magazine Radio, the titan in pipe smoking podcasting hosted by Brian Levine of Pipes Magazine. Pipes Mag is a literal lore book of pipe smoking history. Name a carver, name a tobacconist, name an author, name an enthusiast. If Pipes Mag doesn't have an episode about them, they have an episode with them. At over 500 episodes, the show is consistent and fun. I am so fortunate to have been interviewed by Brian Levine on his show at the Chicago 2022 Pipe Show. You can find that episode in the little snippet of, uh, of my part in, in, in the description below. And I'll also link my YouTube video somewhere up here so you can see my experience at Chicago. But it was an incredible experience and I'm so thankful that, that Brian wanted to talk to me on a show okay finally i saved the worst for last we're not talking the most seasoned it's actually a little bit newer so i'm breaking the rules but it's my show so sue me with just over 30 episodes it's called the get pipe podcast <laughs> gwp or gpp or maybe just get pipe podcast whatever the cool cats are calling it is a show that of course revolves around pipes and tobacco but this one has a little bit of a fantasy twist on it 
two idiots, Mr. Get Piped or Adam and his lackey, the Get Piped producer guy or Nick, host a weekly broadcast that injects some form of fantasy into every episode. The two boneheads will literally write their own pipe smoking poetry, pipe smoking short stories, pipe smoking hypotheticals, and literally host pipe smoking individuals that are way cooler than themselves. That said, some of the series they have is Pipe Dreams, Pipe Nightmares, Anecdotal, Smoke Lore, Freehand Fables, Briar Breakdown, Down the Rabbit Hole, Pop Smoke, and many, many more. They just love making new series and they're having a lot of fun with it, it seems. And as I mentioned, each series has a unique and interesting way of injecting some kind of fantasy into it. I think their intent is just to offer a little bit of fun, you know, maybe a smile to and fro your work commute. Now you can find the Get Pipe Podcast on all hosting sites. Just go to your favorite one and type in the Get Pipe Podcast and it'll come up. Do you want to discuss what the samurai were probably smoking? Or listen to a full breakdown of Hans Landa's Calabash pipe smoking scene from Inglorious Bastards? Well, the Get Pipe Podcast is for you. Assuming that you said yes, because if you said no, then it wouldn't really be for you. But I, I can't hear you through the screen okay done and we missed it by a lot i'm sure of it but in all seriousness i love everything about the pipe smoking community and in the the fact that these individuals are going to continue to talk about it on the pipe smoking podcasting wavelength is just amazing i am deeply thankful that there are so many passionate creators who just want to talk about pipes they just want to spread the hobby and that's what it's all about smoking pipes sitting back and relaxing and then diving deeper into the sphere that's exactly how you grow it keeping the conversation going pipe smoking ends only when we stop puffing when the last person stops talking about it so and very fortunately based on the shows we just talked about those guys aren't going to stop talking about it i only ask that you don't stop sharing it and of course keep puffing Thank you guys so much for watching and, and dealing with me in this, this hotel, and I appreciate everything about you. You have just been piped. And until the next piping, I'm out.